let me tell you a little story about Cage Warriors. A few years ago, I want to say 2013, I'm probably getting my dates way off here, but around 2013, Cage Warriors was supposed to do a show in Sweden. Now, there were some issues with what was a very new um, athletic commission in Sweden at the time. They weren't wanting to sanction certain fights. It was all very ridiculous. Um, and I believe most of the board, or in fact, all of the board actually resigned over it. But the point was that Cage Warriors sort of said, look, you know, we'll move this show halfway across the world to the Middle East um, unless you can get this sorted out. And, and they didn't. I think they wanted to play a game of chicken and they lost that game of chicken. But the point was... Cage Warriors on three weeks notice moved that show to the other side of the world, rematched fights, rescheduled fights, rescheduled everyone's flights, hotels, got the arena sorted, the production sorted, and we put on a show. I think the same year, maybe 2014, 2013, uh, Cage Warriors did a show in Jordan. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to Jordan before, but it's a very hot country, it's a very dry country, it's a very sandy country. What it's not used to is snowstorms. For the first time in 15 years, there was a snowstorm in Jordan. Now, it's not like in the UK or Scandinavia or America or anywhere else uh, that occasionally gets snowy weather. There's no gritting trucks. There's no facilities to deal with it. The airport essentially shut down. Half the Cage Warriors team were there already. Half the fighters were there already. And Ian Dean, Graham Boylan and the rest of the team worked their magic behind the scenes and cage warriors put on a show it was the only time in nearly 10 years that i've worked with cage warriors that the show started late and it started five minutes late because we literally had to send two guys with shovels to dig the broadcast truck out of snow it was that bad but we put on a show two years ago the start of covid the venue operator that we were using at the indigo closed all their venues five days before Cage Warriors were due to put a show on at the Indigo, at the L2. 24 hours later, Cage Warriors has secured a new venue in a different city at the other end of the country. And five days after finding out the venue was shot, Cage Warriors put on a show. For the last two years, there's been no domestic MMA in this country and for most of Europe. But every three months, Cage Warriors has put on a show has put on three shows, on three nights, back to back, every three months, for two years, throughout the pandemic, and all the issues that that entails. The world's been a pretty horrible place for the last couple of years, and certainly the last few months, with the pandemic, the economy, and of course, at the moment, the awful situation in Ukraine. We need a bit of escapism. And for the past few years, that's what Cage Warriors has been doing, against ridiculous odds we've been putting on a show. Of course, everyone will have heard by now that Darren Stewart's return to Cage Warriors scheduled for this Friday night is off. There's been a myriad of other fighters with injury issues and various other things that has meant this fight card has almost completely changed from what it was uh, just a few weeks ago. And of course, today we've had the very sad news that Paul Hughes has got an injury and is out of his title unification fight with Jordan Vucenic. Obviously, we wish Paul all the best and a speedy recovery. It would have been very easy this morning with just seven fights left on the pill for Cage Warriors to throw in the towel. But just hours later, we've got a new fight card out. We've got a new title fight between Jordan Vucenic and James Hendon. We've got Tobias Harilla stepping up in weight to face Deki Makalinen. And we've got a solid undercard with some great fights, some great prospects coming up. And the point is, once again, against ridiculous odds, this Friday night, Cage Warriors is putting on a show. I hope you'll join us.